Choosing the right carry-on luggage can make all the difference between a stress-free journey and a travel nightmare. Today, we're gonna dive into a hot debate in the travel world. Hard shell versus soft shell luggage. I'll walk through some key considerations and work to highlight the pros and cons of each so that you can make an informed buying decision. Okay, let's dive in and first talk about the most obvious difference between hard shell and soft shell luggage, the materials. Hard-sided luggage can be made from many materials like polypropylene, polycarbonate, ABS, which is an acronym for this long scientific name, and aluminum. Personally, I'd recommend opting for polycarbonate, which is incredibly durable, lightweight, and resistant to cracks. As far as hard shells go, polycarbonate is gonna offer that sweet spot of affordability and durability. Aluminum bags, like this one from Level 8 Cases, are also very, very cool, but they are easily going to be the most expensive and the heaviest. Soft shell luggage is often made from fabrics like nylon or polyester, which provides a bit more flexibility. The distinctions between the materials here translate directly to some of the key differences between the bags. First, hard-sided luggage is going to be more protective and durable in general. And I'm more inclined to recommend a hard-sided bag if you're traveling with something fragile. Whereas soft shell luggage is gonna lend itself better to flexibility. Soft-sided luggage will typically be more forgiving in terms of how much you can fit into the bag and could also be a difference maker when it comes to squeezing your bag into that overhead bin space. Now this completely depends on the bag, but soft shell luggage is usually going to be lighter weight as well. Although neither is going to be completely waterproof, hard-sided luggage will be more water resistant. We experienced this torrential downpour in Croatia, and what I noticed is items near the zippers in our hard-sided bag still got a little wet, but thanks to the shell, things stayed mostly dry. A soft-sided bag would have gotten completely soaked through. In the same vein, hard-sided luggage is usually easier to clean. You can typically just wipe it down or use a magic eraser to remove stains or marks. The downside is it will show scuffs, scratches, and dents much, much easier. Soft-sided bags won't look as scratched or scuffed, but the fabric can stain. This is a very minor consideration, but hard-sided bags' rigid structure makes them easier to stack, which could come in handy in crowded luggage compartments if you need that. When it comes to some of the features you might find in hard-sided and soft-sided luggage, there's a huge variety of options out there as you get into specific bags. What I'm gonna do is point out what is commonly the default and give you some advice in terms of features that you should be on the lookout for no matter which option you go with. Let's start with wheels. Most hard-sided carry-ons these days use 360-degree spinner wheels. These are most easily pushed alongside you, but they can also be pulled behind you. Soft-sided carry-ons come in both two and four-wheel varieties. And I'll just say, if you're after a two-wheel rollerboard, it's more common to see that as a soft-sided piece of luggage. Zippers. Many hard-sided carry-ons also feature TSA-approved locking zippers with a built-in combo lock mechanism. You don't see this as commonly on soft-sided bags, but they are out there, so I advise you to be on the lookout for that feature. Pockets. Soft-shell suitcases usually have external pockets, which offer easy access to items that you might need during your trip. I would say pockets are the default, typically, when it comes to soft-sided bags. Now, you can get hard-sided suitcases with external pockets, but if you want that feature, that's something you're gonna have to seek out. One example is the Roadrunner by Level 8 Cases, which even has TSA locking zippers for that external pocket, which I think is really cool. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, I would love it if you would hit that like button so that YouTube will recommend this to other travelers like you. Okay, let's move to the inside of these bags. Most hard-sided luggage opens clamshell style or like a book where the bag is split 50-50 and you'd pack evenly into each of the two sides. Soft-sided luggage tends to open like a bucket with a lid. <laughs> you fill the contents and then the lid flips down, you just zip it up. Many prefer that style for its ease when packing, and a common complaint against hard-sided luggage is the shallow depth of each of the two sides. It also tends to take up a little more space when it's unzipped. If you're using a hard-sided carry-on, I would definitely recommend a good set of compression packing cubes, which will help you keep your items compartmentalized, 
compressed, and more easily held in place. If you're a souvenir person, or if you have large or oddly sized items, a soft shell bag is probably gonna be a better bet for you. I'd advise to look for a bag with some element of internal organization, and you'll be able to find that in either hard shell or soft shell varieties. Also, consider if you want a bag with the ability to expand. Some people call this a compression feature, and I get it. I commonly see this more as a help me overpack feature. <sighs> Sorry. So, which one of these is right for you? This is very subjective, and I would say it very much depends on your personal needs and preferences. I know plenty of people who swear by their soft-sided bag. I'm sure that's many of you watching. I used a soft-sided bag for years. Personally, I've used both, and I've come to a place where I personally, again, this is me personally, prefer hard-sided luggage. I like the added durability, resistance to the elements, and the overall aesthetic. If you're curious my take on which hard-sided carry-on is worth your hard-earned money, you want to check out this video where I purchased and tested seven of the most popular hard-sided carry-ons out there. And if you want to see me do a similar video for soft-sided bags, comment bucket below. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to us that our community is growing and that people are finding these videos helpful. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and happy travels.